Right, so, hello guys. Today you, you join me in the box again, as usual. Um, so basically today, I'm going to talk about a few things that I hate about this car. So, don't get me wrong, by, by any sense of the word, I don't hate this car. I love it to bits. But there's a few little bits that if I could, I'd change them. Which I'm sure you, you have with any car. It's what makes them have character and things like that. But, so these are the things with the above that I think could be improved. Number one. Indicators. They work fine. But, when you click them to go around the roundabout, as soon as you start to straighten your wheel any kind of way, like the tiniest bit, from the direction that you were going, they'll click off. And it's not ideal because you, you can still be going around the roundabout. And it's, it's just not good when they click off. And then if you try and put it back on again, they're really stiff and you feel like you're going to snap the indicator stop. But again, it's a minor problem, but it's something I'd change if I could. Number two is turning circle. This car has got a turning circle of a small cruise ship. It may be a tiny little car, it is very small, but doing three point turns and tight parking, people look at you like you can't drive, but it's just this car. It's turning circle, it's dreadful, I have no idea why. It's just stupid. Apparently, I've heard it's something to do with, um, because these have got such wider wheels than the standard 500 has. They have to limit the steering lock so the wheels don't roll on the arches when they turn. I'm not sure how true that is. That could be a possibility, I guess, but it's not, not 100% sure about that. Right, number three, door handles. This may sound stupid, but on a Bath's and Fiat 500s, there's a known fault with the door handles where the hinge on the front of the door handle snaps leaving you with a, a kind of floppy door handle. And nobody wants a floppy door handle. And like the front comes up. I'll show you. Um, this isn't an expensive fix. In fact, it's relatively cheap. You can, um, you can fix it for about six quid. It just involves a bit of work and you have to know how to use basic tools and that, but it's, it's, it's a cheap fix, but it's just annoying having to fix your door handle. It happened to me a little while ago, I haven't done it yet because it's a little bit of work. seats that you can get they sit a lot lower but they are quite expensive and you can even get lowering brackets for the sub L seats so they sit even lower than they do from the factory so this there is ways to get around it and then you could just put completely third party seats in and um, then you would um, be a lot lower on the floor because you can custom brackets made and things like that that will allow you to sit a lot lower but okay, that's um, probably my last last one. I love this car really. I, I don't really hate it at all. There's just a few little things 
that I would change if I could, which I'm sure everybody has got about their cars. But um, thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. Um, this will be my last video before Christmas, so um, have a good Christmas, guys. Thanks for watching. Six. She's open Santa.